Hi, my name is Alice Guy and I'm studio head here at Paper 7. Welcome to a deeper dive into the gameplay of our new game Blackwood Crossing, out early next year on PC, Xbox and PS4. So, for those who are new to the game, Blackwood Crossing is a thought-provoking, story-driven adventure game centred around orphan siblings Scarlet and Finn. You play as 14-year-old Scarlet, being led through a mysterious journey by your 10-year-old brother Finn. Your once close bond has broken down as Scarlet's come of age and is leaving childhood behind. Come on, you promised! What did I promise? I don't remember. But a promise is a promise. Here we join the game part way through the first chapter. The game is largely set on a moving train, but we're starting to get a sense that this is no ordinary journey, and that Finn is behaving in some pretty unexpected ways. Finn, where did you go? <gasps> Leaves? Following him down the train here, we start to reveal some of the magic and the mystery to the player. Finn is seen magically dissolving into leaves. And then, as we follow him into the train carriage, we see it transforming into a garden landscape before our eyes. What on earth? That's different. Wait. Finn, don't go up there. Finn, we don't know it's safe. Finn, I need you to put the ladder back and climb down. You can't come up without the password. I don't like this, Finn. I'm not playing anymore. Nah, nah. Scarlet doesn't know the password. At this point in the game, there's a password puzzle that we must solve so we can follow Finn up the ladder. Hidden around the carriage are several Polaroids that will give us the clues we need to solve the puzzle. Dad's old guitar! <laughs> he could really play. What's this? I remember this. It's a made-up language we used to use. Another one. Princess Scarlet to the rescue. The shadowed images play out a story where Princess Scarlet has rescued Finn from the dragon. The words we see are a secret language they used when they were younger. And as we walk down here, we see the train is transformed again. This time, you into your granddad's here? greenhouse. Finn? There's no one driving the train! Come on! I'm not kidding! There's just... Grandad's greenhouse! You really should see it! I've seen Grandad's greenhouse loads of times! Their grandparents have been caring for Scarlet and Finn since just the death of their parents several years before so they do feature strongly in their lives. Gotcha. It's also another chance for us to add Same intrigue and wonder to the environment and give the player a further glimpse into the backstory. Grandad used to hide here for hours listening to the cricket. Ace. That's what you get when you mess. That's the whole story. Now, what order do they go in? So, now we've found all the Polaroids, and we can head back to the tree to solve the puzzle. Blackwood Crossing is a story-driven game at its heart, for sure. But we feel there's a really nice balance between the narrative right. thread and the puzzle Do exploration listen? moments. We want there to be enough to keep the player's mind turning, 
but not so much that it breaks them out of the flow of the story. Fubble. Everbear. You remembered. We can now climb the ladder and we're able to see Scarlet's full body in this view. We've worked hard to craft many little details like this. Um, so for example here, the legs being visible, or if you look closely at Scarlet's hands, you can see her nail varnish is chipped. It's all part of making the player understand just who Scarlet is and what she's about. The tree house. Now we've transported the player to Finn and Scarlet's childhood treehouse and are about to enter a key scene in the story. It's not just a beautiful environment, but it also allows us to play out key scenes in the story. This one's particularly important. Finally, I'd almost given up. Grandma says, come down and start your homework. I need you to help with the drawing. I'm off out with Cam. Cameron? You don't have to leave right away though, do you? A past version of Scarlet is shown interacting with Finn here, and we do this at several points during yes, the game. Of course. Here we're showing the player how her move into adolescence is affecting the time she spends with him. So now we have to find the two objects that are needed by Finn, the sellotape and the scissors. Woof. Look at all this stuff. Ruff. Are you ever going to finish that? Ruff, ruff. One day. Generally speaking, all the puzzles in the game ruff. serve to further the player's understanding of Finn and Scarlet's relationship and the events that are unfolding. Do you remember your robot phase? Ruff. It wasn't a phase. Ruff, ruff. Robots are cool. Roscoe, drop. Woof! <laughs> Good boy. The game is set in the mid-90s, so you'll often see nice retro touches throughout the game, like these. Where are the scissors? Try the planetarium. The thing with the planets! Yes, yes. Planets are big, round things. So, as we explore the treehouse, we hear relatable, childlike conversations between the two main characters. He's a proper genius when he puts his mind to it. What was that? Nothing. There they are. Teams worked hard to make sure the puzzles don't feel too mechanical. We never want to break the player out of the story. In the interactions that follow, we'll see Finn and Scarlet questioning each other about the issues that are uppermost in their mind. For Scarlet, that's what's going on and why they're on this journey. For Finn, it's seeking more information okay, about their dead parents oh. and giving us an insight into the emotional turmoil he's been feeling. Come on, let's get started. We're doing butterflies. Oh, okay. You draw, I'll do the wire. Finn, do you remember the train that we were on before? There were some people wearing masks. Did you like them? That's not what I meant. I could make you one if you like. No, Finn. I want to know why they're here. Finn. 
Finn. We're all on a journey. We don't seem to be getting very far. Do you know where we're going? Why would I know anything? A fat lot of help you are. I don't even know who those people are. You know Grandma and Grandad, and Cam, and Mrs. Lindhurst, and that boy from your school. You mean Mum and Dad. How's that? Nice. The interactions That's with the butterflies allow us to break up the conversation very naturally. And we'll see how they use distraction techniques to avoid the difficult questions, as children so often do. Do you remember them? Who? Mum and Dad. You can remember. Don't. It's important. <sighs> Not when I concentrate. But I dream about them and it's like they're right there. Then I wake up and they're gone. Can you describe them to me? I don't know. Dad was very tall, but I suppose everyone was. He let me sit on his shoulders when I couldn't see. And Mum? Here. And what about Mum? That's enough. But... You're lucky you don't remember. You wouldn't say that, if you knew. What's that supposed to mean? I finished. No, Finn. What did you mean? Do you want to wind it up? Can't you remember them at all? No. They loved you very much. I hope so. Here, watch this. That's a good one. Watch me. Oh. <gasps> How did you do that? I don't know. I just wanted it to fly. Can you do it again? I don't know. Sorry, Finn. I've really got to go. We'll play later, okay? Oh, no. They're all rubbish. I can't do them on my own. Now we're seeing what happened when Scarlet didn't stay with Finn and play with him. It's not that bad. And it sets up the next chapter, which has much darker elements and many more surprises for the players. You can get a short glimpse of what's to come in the reveal trailer that we released a few weeks ago. Oh. They're no good. None of them are any good. Finn, get a hold of yourself. Hey! Finn, where did you get that? It's all your fault. Stop it. Please. As you'll have seen, the game tackles some pretty heavy topics. Love, loss and letting go. They're key themes that run throughout. We've written a story and designed a game that's there to make you think and feel. It's a game that will appeal to those with a sense of adventure and a vivid imagination, who enjoy a good story and solving puzzles. Hopefully you'll have enjoyed this insight and we look forward to sharing more with you over the coming weeks as we build up to our release early next year. Cheers for watching.